Welcome back to the Pokemon Coliseum Not Locked. It's, it's time to progress, and by progress, I mean more Rayquazas. Watch. Watch this. Nope. No Rayquazas here. Oh, look. It's one of my Pokemon. Okay, uh, I probably should have put Ramble in front instead of Articuno. Miranitar, Sandstream, the Ghosters. Let's just try and get that off the board. I guess that, that seems like a good idea. Especially if it's just gonna go tanking my attacks like that. Okay, please don't resist Drill Pack. Pack? Drill Pack? Drill Pack. You know, card games have booster packs, but Lunatone has a drill pack. <laughs> mm. Sounds like if there was a gotcha game about power tools. <laughs> you, you know how sometimes in gotcha games, like, you can, like, buy stuff instead of trying to, to like, pull for them. <laughs> the drill pack lets you just buy all the drills. For a certain number. Everybody dies in the sandstorm, except for Atakuna. You know what, Tyranitar? Just fall asleep. Thank you. I don't remember what type Stangle is. So we're just gonna... We're just gonna try and kill it with Drill Pack. I think it's Electric type, isn't it? So actually, I think it's gonna resist Drill Pack. Yeah. Like, like. Alright, I'm gonna switch Articuno out. Unless it dies. Well, um. Flip side to Articuno dying. Tragic. Um. I don't have to waste a turn switching it out to Granbull. Granbull, more like Grand Blue! And I I mean the, 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 the Vanguard plan, not. Then again, what clans aren't? And the answer to that is any clan. In uh, I think every clan has something stupidly unfun to play against in premium. Uh, oh, nothing wants to die. Lunatone, why are you not being more helpful? Good. Good. Nah, no, just throw rock just throw rocks at me, it's fine. Just throw rocks at my rock. Good. Good news. Tyranitar's probably gonna die. It occurs to me I can just use extreme speed on Tangela. No, I cannot. Great. I love it. Wonderful. Great, good, good, great, awesome, outstanding, amazing. All I did was press A. Screw you, Tangela. You are a bully and mean and and a mean bully. I should have just attacked the Tangela. I should have just attacked the Tangela. Is haze. It just clears out status effects. Mean. Mean. Nah. Nah. It's not gonna be helpful. Alright, I was close. It wasn't a Rayquaza, but I was close. Alright, I'll take a Grout on our Kyogre. God. You think it resists Grass-type moves? I bet it resists Grass-type moves. I just have a strange feeling. I, I just, I just... 
everything resists grass type moves in this game. Ah! Um. Ow. Alright, now Grand Bull, whatever you do, don't go in the hype. Lunatone, whatever you do, don't die, please. I will heal you next turn. You flinched? Well, he didn't die, so I guess. Or, or she. I haven't been paying attention. Lunatone, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, no, Lunatone is a day or an in. Lunatone a day or an in? I don't know. I don't know. And it died. Ugh. Well, in comes the Breloom then. Cause we need to get that heart bitch down. And all we can do is Shadow Rush, so uh... Yup. It is not dying this turn and that's... <sighs> deeply saddening. Oh my god. Oh right, but Rockside is losing his heck and more yawning, isn't that great? I think we're able to kill it next turn. Oh, we're definitely going to be able to kill it next turn. My only hope is that Preloom kills it. Well, I guess I should say my only hope is that we kill it. My only hopes are that we kill it and that Preloom kills it. Because I guess we could just have both of them go into hyper mode and then I mean, Groudon just lives and that's just annoying. But I'm just going to rely on why are you outspeeding me? This is not acceptable behavior, Groudon. You can't just go killing Pokemon like that. All right, well, good news. Uh, Miltank the Destroyer. The Destroyer of Worlds. Shall gain some experience. From this experience. Had to jinx it. Had to jinx it. Well, here's the chance to find out. Do Groudons resist grass? <laughs> Why does everything resist grass? <laughs> Can somebody please explain to me? <laughs> oh my god. I'm still gonna use Magical Leaf anyway, because I don't want to go into Hyper Mode, and it might just kill at this point anyway. I think it will, probably, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, is there a setting on the randomizer for this game? That's like, yeah, make all Pokemon resist X type and you can just fill it in. Is that what happened? Why does everything resist grass? Uh, follow up question if everything resists grass, why does everything have grass moves? It's not okay. All of my Pokemon are dead. Uh, I am gonna rearrange the order though. I'm gonna take Articuno out of the front, even though having Hypnosis on the team is nice. Um, it's like, I, I don't think it's, like, 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 it's gonna stay on the team. Cause even with everything resisting grass, like, as long as Articuno gets some attacking moves other than Shadow Rush, which obviously it'll only have Shadow Rush until we purify it. Um, but after it's purified, if we start getting damaging moves, uh, that'll be fantastic. Hunter gear. Hunter gear. Oh, you like gun, boots, parasect, claydol mechanic, claydol mechanic. <laughs> if I remember, I'm just gonna take a picture of claydol mechanic's face with a little, just a little screenshot of the card. Plop it over claydol's image. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. And and just because. You know what? You naturally have a four times weakness to flying. Let's see Parasect resist it. <laughs> Luna 
Undertone resisted it. Speaking of resisting things that are normally super effective. Was I right? Actually, no, it does normal damage, okay. Of course. Actually, one thing that I don't think I've ever encountered is if you have a sleeping Pokemon, and, and I don't know if I'm gonna find this out throughout the series, so I guess leave a comment if you know the answer. If you have a sleeping Pokemon in hyper mode, and you call, does it wake them up and bring them out of hyper mode? I don't know. Or can sleep not be inflicted on Pokemon in hyper mode? Or does sleep cure hyper mode? I don't know! I don't know the answer! What I do know is I'm now 11 minutes into the recording. You know what I realized is I thought I only got two battles done last episode. I guess I got three battles done because there was the blue cipher beyond. Anyway, Parasect, please just cease life. Actually, does Claydol also not get super effective if, if by uh, Drill Pack? I wonder. I wonder. I should probably heal Lunatone up next turn. That would probably be a, a very good idea. Oh, it's super effective on Claydol. Oh, thank goodness. Well, you... You... Does this trainer have a third mon? No. I'm gonna use Granville's turn. Drill Peck to kill Claydol. Or it's gonna use Leaf Blade. That's fantastic. It's super effective. Well, it might be one of the few cases in this entire game of Pokemon still being weak to a type it's usually weak to. That crit meant nothing! Why did you give it to me now and not before? Where, where did that accent come from? I don't really know. Well, good to know that heal was basically pointless. Uh, I'm gonna just switch the Lunatone out. Relu? I guess. I suppose. Just, just something that won't die, please. Get one shot at because that's that tends to be how things go in this game, and also in my randomizers. So you know, I mean, it's just fantastic. All right, let's go double shadow. Run. Well, at least it's dead. We gotta go back and heal again. I think that's one thing that I don't really like a whole lot about uh, Colosseum and Gale of Darkness, and it's honestly, in my opinion, less of an issue in Gale of Darkness, if only because you're able to start leveling up Pokemon much sooner, and that's that you have to go back to heal a lot of times, because, like, money's not super hard to come by, but it does take time to accumulate, and while the Dual Square does exist as somewhere in the early game, and Colosseums are an option and whatnot, I mean, it's, it's just, it's really, it's unpleasant, it can be kind of bothersome, and it just, it doesn't feel fun to have to backtrack t to healing spots so often. I also don't like that you can only heal at, uh, at PCs, it's a little annoying, but, I mean, that's just whatever, it's, yeah. that's a normal thing to have fixed save points in games, so. Wow, an easy battle. Hypothetically speaking. Um. Uh, let's, uh, see if Beldum still resists flying. Nope. Actually, normal effective. That's. Hmm, that was actually good damage. Okay. I mean, that was a crit, but that was good damage. Okay. 
I like how I was just talking about having to go heal a lot, but I actually don't think I'm going to have to heal after this battle. I mean, granted, I didn't have to heal after the last one, because I probably could have just kept going and shifted Mons around, but you get the point. You think it resists grass? I, I want to know if it resists grass. I want to know if Weedle still resists grass also. I mean, if Beldum dies, Beldum dies. But... Alright, let's see. Do we resist grass? I bet we do. Oh my god. We got one. We got a Mon that doesn't resist grass, people. We've done it. Good stuff right there. Lunatone is now still underleveled for the area, so that's fantastic. Still not as high a level as the two level 34 Rayquazas we ran into, because I think they expect you to be using at least one of your starters alongside your Shadow Pokemon, but like, why would I do that when I can just train up Shadow Pokemon? Get out of my way, Rui, or whatever your name is. I obtained five Great Balls. Good. Good stuff. He just say I look like a bug Pokemon and he's gonna squash me? Mr. Flat Abs. <sighs> okay. Okay. That is two terrifying dual type psychic types, except they're not psychic types anymore. Quite possibly they may not be scary at all anymore either. Uh, let's see if they resist grass and flying. Let's go full on scientist mode. Well, science! Right, we don't resist flying on the Metagross. And Metagross was covet. He just puked some hearts at me. That's disgusting, and I don't I don't care. I just, it's just, no. I don't care what shape it is. Metagross resists grass, of course. Slow King used rest. Oh, it's put them to sleep if their HP is full. I didn't know that. Sloking is the last one to move, so if it tries to use rest again, it's a bit of waste. But I need to know. Does Sloking resist flying? And does Sloking resist grass? Metagross, why are you such a bully? You know, I don't even care. Like, it's less of a... But it's, it's, it's less turns wasted if we just... Call it after it falls asleep. Okay. Sloking does not resist either thing. Yeah, I was half expecting that rap to, to go on my Lunatone. And I was gonna be like, wow, rap with sleep is actually an okay enough combo because you can't switch out and it's damage over time while you're asleep. No. No, you don't know how to be smart. Alright, um, let's kill the Slow King just because I really don't want it using rest and just stalling me out. That's, that's gonna get really unpleasant if it does. I don't know if we're gonna be able to... Stop spitting slash puking your hearts at me, Metagross. Okay. Sloking is dead, thank god. Also, I just realized we're actually not as under level as I thought with another Rayquaza. We'll have Dark Park. But it's fine. Lunatone fell asleep, that's fine. We don't need Lunatone from Metagross. I mean, it'd be helpful, but it's not like, it's not a necessity. We can just get it next turn. Easy. Easy. Alright. I guess it uses it on Granville, or is it stupid? No. Okay. Oh my god, I almost hope. I don't think I'm gonna get to find out. Oh no, I actually might. I actually might. I need Granville to go into hyper mode this turn. Please, 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 please. Granville, I only ask of this once. It's not going to now that I want it to, but I want it to happen. Granville, please. The one time I want it. <laughs> the one time I want it to go into hyper mode, the game's just like, Nah, you don't give me. You don't, nah, you don't need that. And I'm like, yes, I do. I want it. And game's like, nah, you're good. And I'm like, no, I'm not. Terrible. Ah! I have been thoroughly bullied. 
Once again, I actually don't feel the need to heal after complaining. Uh... Because I'm not feeling too great, and I'm starting to feel kind of sick, as I'm sure you were made aware, and if you were watching yesterday's Garvin video, uh, this will be the last battle of the video. We've got another slow bro. That's fantastic. Good stuff. But for right now, I need the science. Sidmon Lee resist flying and or... Resist flying. Ooh, we can actually deal some good damage. That's good. That's good. It's always good when Lunatone can deal good damage. But it resists grass. Because, of course, it resists grass. Because why wouldn't we resist grass? Horn Girl's a one hit KO move, right? I think, if I'm remembering my horn related moves correctly, I want to say. So that's nice and horrifying. Hornifying. Goes me. Why you throw a bubble at me? All right, if this crits, Hitmonlee is dead. It didn't crit, so Hitmonlee lives. I cry. Every dim. I suppose while I outro the video, I'll probably just hit that down again. So Hitmonlee is gonna live non-threateningly, of course. So I suppose we're fine. Oh yeah, and he still has one more mon after this. Because of course. Oh my god, I got scared for a second. You know what? I hope that kills it. I'm gonna be terrified if it doesn't. Stop using bubbles. Crit. <laughs> oh my god. That's good stuff right there. Okay, Hitmonlee is dead. What's coming out next? Kyogre. Come on, complete the trilogy. I, I mean, I don't want it to be Kyogre, but, but if it's going to be a legendary, it's got to be Kyogre. Let's get it. I'm both disappointed and relieved at the same time. Watch this skid loop be the most terrifying thing I've faced this entire, entire Nuzlock. I almost called it a Nuzlock. This isn't a Nuzlock, people. If this was a Nuzlock, I'd have lost already. Like, twice over. Does it resist grass? Does it resist flying? It knows Shockwave. Good. Fantastic. But does it resist grass, and does it resist flying? In backwards order, I suppose. Please don't have color change. It doesn't resist flying. Actually, that did good. Solid damage. Solid damage. It don't resist either of my attackers. That's good. We don't have to risk Shadow Rush. Great. Cool. I'm happy. I'm thrilled. It doesn't resist grass. Oh my god. Alright, it's done. Wonderful. Well, uh, I suppose then in that case that Tone leveled up with no moves to be spoken. We need more attacking moves on Lunatone, because like the same types just kill my entire moveset on Lunatone. It's, it's really saddening, but like I'd rather Lunatone than Tangela. Anyway, that's about going to do it for this episode. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like. If you didn't, well, there's also a button for that. And if you press that button, be sure to let me know down in the comments section below what I could be doing better, and I'll try and do it better, unless it's my mic, in which case there's not really much I can do to help. And uh, if you're new here, well, be sure to check out some other content on the channel. If you like the kind of content you're seeing on the channel, be sure to hit subscribe. And also, if you are subscribed and you want notifications every time I upload, but then click the bell, even though maybe sometimes it doesn't work. And 
it's, it's sometimes Bell's like, here you go, I'll click myself for you. You know this channel you watch like once a month that uploads like three times a day? Yeah, here's the bell. Notified every time. I thought I had another four to go. This is what Safe States a good four. I will see you next time.